heading to Dead Horse State Park. Uh, Hudson's sleeping in the back. Jess is driving. I'm riding passenger because I left my truck. Those are called EVAP ponds, apparently. Not sure how they work. <laughs> oh, Jenny. I think that's close enough. We're almost to the basin overlook, which I think is the first overlook that we're supposed to get to out of three on this half. But, I mean, you got views pretty much the entire walk, so... I don't know what more the overlook is going to give us. It's probably like 50 or 55, but shorts and t-shirts are plenty. We've reached an overlook, maybe? Okay. Maybe? For sure. Pro tip, if you're hiking and you don't know where the path is, look for little piles of stones like this in like national and state parks. They always guide you back to where you're supposed to be. We've reached another sign. Excuse me. The Neck Eastern Trail. Alright, let's go Huts. I think we're almost at the end of the East Rim Trail. Not positive, but it seems like we're getting close. Yanni is happy to be doing stairs. Whew. We're absolutely like pretty much at the top now. Oh, yep, here. It just sounds at an overlook over here. We made it. We just passed two Dobermans, um, and the lady who was walking them moved out of the way. But it was it was super funny because she was like, "Don't be a dick." When the one tried to bark at Hutsey, he didn't even flinch. You got the river down there, the evaporation ponds, the mountains, this like canyon. Hutsey, stop chasing shadows, my dude. What are they? Like, they're evaporation ponds, but what's the point of them? They're, uh, from mine. Oh. I mean, they look clearly man-made. Oh. You can see the river winding through now. There's cars down on that road. The end of the East Rim. Now we're headed towards the West Rim. We're at Dead Horse. That seems to be the main attraction over there. We think we're off the trail right now. I was gonna scramble up. I'm gonna scramble up over there. This is Mosin Path. Jess and Hudson went up over there. Neither of us know where the path is. I should really mark these things better. Yeah, we caught we caught back up to John after Hudson pulled my hand into a tree and stabbed it with the branches. Aww. He just missed me. This is why you should stay closer to us. Oh, you went back. You could have faded me. I feel like we're no. It's got to be this way. It's somewhere in between here and there because the road's right there. I think it's this. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Johnny's worried about us, so we didn't topple to our deaths. Uh, what, we've gone, what, probably like five miles now? Or no? No, not quite. Well, maybe. Four ish miles. Four and a half, maybe. Who knows? The rim is over there. The path is over here. Oh, maybe we're coming to an overlook. So this is the Meander Overlook, which is one of two overlooks on the west side. We're right here. 
0.25 miles out to the meander overlook. Still on the west side. Possibly this is a sign up here telling us how much further we have to go. Big Horn Overlook. 1.25 miles. We're in for another two and a half miles here. I don't think this is quite the point. Looks like the path keeps going a little bit, but we'll stop and look while we're here. Come here. John didn't want to hike over with us. So he's sitting. Hudson, hold on. He's sitting over on that rock over there. Well, we're gonna hike over to Bighorn Point. Quite sure that we're at the overlook here. Just gotta figure out where to overlook. Oh yeah, we'll hike out over here. This is the overlook. I don't know. I'm now not as convinced that this is the overlook, but could be. Either way, we're gonna stop and have a snack. We're almost back. Hold on, Huts. Hold on. Well, apparently we're supposed to go this way to the visitor center. And it's still 0.3 miles away. This seems like some bullshit. <laughs> he wants to get in every single car. We're almost there, bud. We're almost there. Yeah. Yes, we made it.